you want to travel the world but have no idea how to finance it, let me show you how I did it. Hey my friend, many people say they want to travel the world but they just cannot afford it. So in this video I want to show you how I managed to keep up my budget for my upcoming trip around the world here in this beautiful atmosphere at my mom's balcony. <laughs> Before studying anything, it is important to think about what you really want. So, do you want to be that slow travel, low budget backpacker? Or you want to stay in all a luxury resort and have a fancy experience each and every day? Or is it anything in between or beyond? It can be basically anything. You just have to decide for yourself what you want to do. Also, it's important to know how long you want to travel and where you want to travel. Like, it does make a difference if you travel for just a few couple of months or for several years. It does make a difference if you travel in the USA or you travel in Southeast Asia. So, depending on the answer of those questions, your budget will vary. So, before I explain to you how I get my budget, first I'm gonna tell you how I plan my trip. So in my example, I want to travel light, slow and also on a low budget with my backpack. So then I thought about the money I needed. They say it's around 1000 to 1500 euros a month if you're traveling like that. Some even say it's 10k a year. So it always depends on, of course, where you're traveling. Uh, I don't want just to travel. I really want to experience the culture. So I also want to work on the road. So I want to stay at one place for a couple weeks, a couple months, work there and then continue my travels and also like travel around the area I'm staying at. On the one hand, this will lower my costs because I can have, for example, a long-term rent, which is usually cheaper than just a night or two. And also I plan to sometimes work for a bed and for some food, so I don't have any costs at all. And also I don't have to spend that many COVID tests. <laughs> but this can also increase my budget on the road because I want to work. So I don't always, I hopefully don't always just work for free or for food. But maybe I can also work on some jobs. I can really earn some money, especially my plan if I ever can get to Australia. So 10k was like my minimum budget I wanted to reach. My maximum budget I thought was possible was maybe about like 13k or something like that. And also in addition to that I wanted to have like 2 to 3k on my bank account secured here. So for the time I come back I'm not completely broke but still have like a buffer left in case I don't find a job immediately like if I ever come back. <laughs> You never know. So if you want to know if I made it, you better stay until the end. So now, what did I actually do to save it all up? So after my studies, I made a commitment to myself to travel the world and I also explained it in my video where I quit my job. So I plan to save almost everything up. I earned more now than having a full-time job compared to being a student. Like I did get paid during my studies but it wasn't much. So uh, everything I earned more than that, I put on another account. How did I do that? First of all, I made a standing order so every time in the beginning of the month my money was transferred right after my paycheck to another bank account. I'm a fucking bro when it comes to organizing money with several bank accounts. <laughs> because this helps to reduce like impulsive buying. If there is still money back on the bank, you can spend it, right? But if there ain't any money, you're not gonna spend it. Also, I chose to have a pretty small room in a shared apartment. Almost always cooked at home. I pre-cooked for the lunch I had in my office. And so I saved a lot, a lot of money. And especially last year, I stayed home most of the time, so I didn't have really high expenses. Well, except for the fact that I started a business, bought a new camera, bought a GoPro, bought a drone, and sometimes had those moments of self-pityness where I was just treating myself way too good. 
well, you get it. Uh, I wasn't really living like a monk or anything. I still was living a good life. What also helps is reduce your shopping hours or the amount of shopping you do. Like, there is a difference if you order two to three times a month or even more um, new clothes or if you just stick to the clothes you have. You really appreciate them more and like of course you can go shopping but maybe buy one piece or two pieces you really love and not just buy a bunch of stuff that will end up in your closet and you're never gonna wear them and then you have to declutter them anyway so just don't buy them at all. <laughs> and then also I just recently moved back to my mom's place to save even more money now. Besides saving money, there is also another way of getting more money and that is to earn an extra income. So get yourself a side hustle job somehow. So I also work part time as a hostess on weekends, on fairs, so all the extra money I got there went straight to my savings account. Not on my usual bank account, straight to my savings account. So this money basically didn't exist for me. It was just for my travels. So after saving, getting all this money, there is still some costs that have to be subtracted from the total amount you have to pay upfront without even starting to travel. That is for example a travel insurance. The insurance I'm gonna use will be around a thousand euros for 24 months. This also depends of course on the time you're going, if you're going to the US and Canada or not because that will definitely increase the cost. Then also I have to make an insurance for my equipment, for example if it gets stolen or something. I still need to buy some travel gadgets that I will need on the road. Of course you can always buy on the road but sometimes it's good to be prepared from the beginning. And of course as well the 3k buffer I need for the time I come back. So how much money did I got to in the end? Drum rolls. <laughs> I saved up about 11.5k and an addition of 3.5k on my savings account. Now I have to extract uh, now I have to subtract about like 2k including a buffer for like insurance and all that kind of stuff and made it exactly to 10k for my travels and 3k for the time I come back. I can tell you I did not expect it to happen because I did treat myself quite well this last two years, but it seems like I manifested it. And there are still some dollars to be made from all the decluttering I did. If you have any questions regarding saving up or how to budget your trip, you can just let me know down there in the comments or just DM me on my Instagram. So I really hope you like this video and have like a slightly better idea of how to make your trip around the world happen financially. Until next time, stay tuned, stay curious and stay creative my friend.